Do you think there are forms of human insight that fundamentally cannot be replicated by algorithms? That's that, correct. Okay, great. And so that made you think that maybe this mystery of consciousness needed to be taken seriously by physicists and mathematicians. Yes. So how did you start addressing this? You see, I was trying to think about the laws of physics. Einstein's general theory of relativity explains a lot more, uh, and it's a lot more difficult to apply things, but it's still computational. What about quantum mechanics? Now, before we go further, I just want to give a reminder about what quantum physics is. It's the branch of physics that describes the behavior of matter and energy at the smallest possible scales, at the level of atoms and subatomic particles. And down there, the world behaves nothing like what we're used to. Particles can be in more than one place at once. Particles can become mysteriously linked across space in what's called entanglement. And the most bizarre feature of all is that the mere act of measuring a system seems to affect its outcome. In our current understanding of quantum mechanics, the story is that until a particle is observed, its properties don't exist in a definite way. They exist only in probabilities. In other words, a quantum particle doesn't have a precise location until you look at it. Until that moment, it's smeared across a range of possibilities. And then those possibilities collapse to one outcome when you observe. This general idea has been tested and confirmed for over a century, and it's built into the fabric of our technology. Quantum mechanics is the science that allows the transistors in your cell phone and the lasers at the grocery store scanners and the GPS in your car. So think of it roughly this way. You toss a coin in the air, and while it's spinning, it's not heads or tails. It's sort of like it's both at once. But the instant you catch it and look, it becomes just one, heads or tails. That moment of catching it is like the wave function collapsing. Now here's the thing, in quantum mechanics, there's no way to predict what the coin's going to be, heads or tails. And so that non-computable strangeness that's what Penrose was interested in. He wondered, what if that indeterminacy, that collapse of possibilities into one real outcome, wasn't just a physical process, but also has to do with a mental one? In other words, what if the flicker of consciousness is related in some way to the collapse of the quantum wave function? 